The John Mahama administration in 2015 signed a contract with Africa and Middle East Resources Investment Group Ameri Energy to rent the 250 megawatts of emergency power from Ameri. The deal was signed by the government at a total cost of $510 million to provide power to Ghana for five years. This was done to assist in resolving the power crisis at the time. It is expected that Ameri Energy would have recovered the cost of the plant and hand it over to the government of Ghana on Monday, February 1, 2021, per the agreement in the contract. Although the Dubai-based company wrote in September 2020 to inform government of its intention to hand over the plant by the date stated in the contract, the government of Ghana has not yet carried the necessary steps to ensure a smooth handing over. Describing this as unfortunate, former ranking member on Select Committee of Mines and Energy and a fellow of IES, Adam Mutawakilu, says the government must fasten the takeover process to prevent another doomsday period in Ghana. Government must come out clearly per the agreement. The first five years, the tariff is 14.5 cents per kilowatt hour. And immediately after the fifth year, the tariff is supposed to reduce to 10.41 per kilowatt hour. What is government stance now? Are we still going to continue to pay the 14.51 cents per kilowatt hour or will now pay 10.41 per kilowatt hour? If it reduces to 10.41 per kilowatt hour, it implies that we expect tariff to reduce for Ghanaians to start benefiting from that agreement. Government must come out clear to tell us. And if government insists they want to take over the plant, I think we'll have a shutdown completely. And that means we'll be back to doing so. So government unwillingness to do all the necessary protocols to take over the plant is quite unfortunate and must be condemned. And government must act fast to take over this plant.